Screw made a legendary, uh, one of his legendary flows that day with Youngster, Big Pokey, and Demo. So people just kind of adapted that day as the day they, for Screw. Mm -hmm. Even though Screw's be there, it's July 20th, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all get ready for that. We're going to have a little something for everybody too. But it's going down, man. Screw Fest, the whole clique coming together like we always do. Every Everybody being different ways all through the year. You know, and a lot of H-Town people, y'all might not hear hear as much on the radio, see us as much on the MTVs, but man, we stay booked up year Nah, round. if you follow Two all of y'all Instagram, you can see oh, yeah. all the shows all the time. Yeah, I, make I sure want you to follow the Instagram. Is he world? We wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> now, is your son performing too, or he just hanging out with dad? Nah, with nah, nah. I'm, I'm, I'm letting him come do something special, man. He got album. He got 25 songs. We're trying to pick the best 15 that he gonna put out, so... My boy about ready to do his thing, man. <laughs> and, oh, I know you've been a part of this as well, man. What does all this and this whole Screw legacy mean for little O? Uh, it mean everything to me. You get what I'm saying? Because it's, it's now it's like it's not just about little O anymore. I feel like I'm not just, I'm representing Hawk's legacy. I'm representing Moe's legacy. You know, I'm representing Pat's legacy. And for us to still be here, and it ain't just about the classics, but to uphold that legacy and, and with new music and, and for the world to still see why we love this much it you know it's a little bit more personal now because some of the homies ain't here to rep mm -hmm. and you know so imagine having a chance that you know every time you out there you out there representing for your partners that share the dream with you so you know it, it's the one time of the year where we we really get to uh you know stand up for all the homies that stood up for my career you get what i'm saying how kind of cool is it that wherever you go in the country though as soon as you say you from houston texas they automatically know DJ Screw and Screw yeah, man, Culture man, and man. all that. It, 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 sometimes don't you think that's kind of amazing, something that was created in your city has had worldwide repercussions, if you will? Uh, man, uh, it's like at the Screw Shop, a lot of people think the Screw Shop closed down, which the one on Colors closed down. But on Fuquay, uh, man, it's still going and it's thriving. And man, every day we over there shipping out bags and boxes to London, Germany. Just so many places around the world, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like, when you think of Houston hip-hop, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't care what you think of. Mm. You know, when Screw came, we created, he created a sound, and we created a flow and a lifestyle that was just totally mm. different. You know what I'm saying? We all had the, like the little Southside phase. We all wore the guests, 9-5 Air Max. You know, <laughs> we, we was the ones with the diamonds in our TV. We created the trend, mm. you know what I'm saying? Everybody, every major artist, you know, maybe besides Jay Z, but all your Rick Rosses and everybody, they come right to where me, Screw, all us got our jury because they wanted their jury like us. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Atlanta, all they going to this day, all they going to rap about. Future, all of them. Young Thug, all of them. They so rap about feel the like double you, cups. You, it's, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a way of life we created. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> we should have trademarked everything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and to the day, you know, I, you know, I, 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 I look up to the young generation that's coming up out of Houston now. That's making a lot of noise. I support all of them. I got love for them because you know when they see us in the streets, they always pay homage. Dude, to I was about to ask you, do you feel like they pay enough homage to? I mean, I know y'all don't feel like it, but now y'all the elder statesmen mm -hmm. of this genre that you help create. You know oh, what I'm I saying? Do. But do you, yeah. do you feel like? Because a lot of times, what happens is the guys that created it. They didn't really get to make all the money from it. That that's how it all. You know what I'm saying? Because they came first. But do the young guys ever come up and pay homage, respect to you the way you feel like you deserve? I'm oh, not yeah. saying that you oh, walk yeah. around like you better pay right, me right. respect. Of course, of course. Hey, go yeah. Kiki, late again. You know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> you know, uh, what up, uh -huh. oh shout yeah. Out, shout out, Big Santos. Santos, Santos. I see them in the club all the time. They always like, "What's up, OG? Let's do some work." So it's number love, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, and for people who don't pay homage, I all. I know I can speak for I know I can speak for Key. Key, do you oh, feel like the young guys coming up? The they, do, do they pay homage to y'all the way you think y'all deserve? I'm cool. Yeah, they yeah. <laughs> and, see, and for those who don't Kiki pay don't homage, care in the first place. Right. And look, because yeah, he still he still getting his money, so Key don't care. See, for, <laughs> for the ones who <laughs> don't know how, but for the ones who don't pay homage or don't know how to pay homage, all we do is make them pay homage. When being on the show with them, up, uh, uh, dropping new music. That's all you do. You make them pay homage. You know? Don't you think that there needs to be you should understand your legacy that you come from, though, because had y'all not, a lot of this stuff started, let's be honest, a lot of guys wouldn't have the career, particularly in this city, forget outside the city, but a lot of these guys wouldn't have 
the careers that they've had, and they wouldn't have the careers that they had had it not been for these guys that created this. See, but we can say the same. You know, it's guys that can say the same thing to us. True, true, you feel true. Scarface, true, true. you know, can say the same thing. True. You know, uh, there were so many other groups. You're right. The K Reno, yeah. these people been out way right. before us. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's just one thing about us. When we came, all of us, during the Southwest Wholesale time, we all were trained to be businessmen. We never had to have a, a CEO or a and or somebody tell us to go pick beats, tell us to go to the studio. He gonna go to the studio himself, because mm -hmm. I see him all the time. I'm gonna go to the studio myself. Lil' gonna do his own work. So that's the difference, you know what I'm saying? There's some people with a lot, a lot of talent. But if you ain't got the grind and the hustle, you know, it might look rough sometimes, but we've been shining for, how long, Key? How many years? I don't long, long time, long time. <laughs> Does, how long do you think that this is a legacy that will continue? Will people still be celebrating Screw another 20 years from now, Kiki? I hope so. You know, I would, I would believe so. You know, um, the younger generation. You know, it's just, you know, times just change a little bit. It, it switches over a little bit, but it, it keeps on going back to, um, you know, to the forefathers and what we original. I think so, man. It's just all about how we approach it every year. We just keep making it. You know, you know, relevant and doing. It. I think so. You know, what I'm saying that 20 years. That's a long time. <laughs> <laughs> screw, 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 so. screw, been dead over 10. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You still jamming pocket, you still jamming biggie. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So my son, he, when he be rapping, he said in line the other day, talking about Blue 22. I'm like, how you know about Blue 22? Mm -hmm. So I just told on YouTube. So, you know, he just He's made 14. There. So mm -hmm. it's going to be here, man. So I know the big show's going on. So are all the original screwed up click going to be there at this concert on the 27th for Screw um, Fest? From what I from what I know, they, they, I know it could be a line if they say six names on it, but it could end up probably being twenty eight on the show. Yeah, because then you also you have to have the, you have those <laughs> none those none, you know some people don't. don't even, on, I don't even want you to start. Don't even start that. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm just like some people don't put in no hustle all year. Yeah. You know, and see an opportunity, and they might be, hey man, put me on. You know what I'm saying? So okay. you know, we we don't have nothing really to do with that. You know. Eventually, it'll come to a time where, because you just can't make everybody happy, no matter how me, man, we've been trying to make everybody happy. If, how long? Everybody, the thing about it, man, uh, <laughs> it just becomes so much, Every everybody that you, it just becomes so much of a debate. Right. It, you know, just did, I don't, let me just start, but I don't want to be in the debate. I don't have no problem. Whoever want to be on the show, they can do I hate the fact that people, I, let me get this clear why I'm, I'm not running that to but see, when he rap, 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 he say issues, he captain. I'm so that's why a lot of I'm courses, the captain, of courses, I'm, the by, I'm the captain by, I'm the captain by longevity. You know what I'm saying? By day oneness. Not by hooking everything up. You know what I'm saying? You know, people, people test my captains all the time. When, he, when, I, said, when I said I'm the captain, oh, damn, he went to Swiss Island, he done this, he done. Listen, man, I don't have no screw, um... Eel wheels, beefs, nothing. I love everything. I didn't pick the show. I didn't pick the lineup. I didn't do nothing. I'm down. I hope everybody can get there. I hope they got enough checks and money. I'm down with everything. I just want to get here and say I love everything. The blame, the blame goes around. But see, Hawk used to take all the blame. So once yeah, yeah, Hulk he take all the blame, but he put it on me. Yeah, really. once, once Hulk Hulk pass, like, he takes it all, Kiki but he comes and takes all the blame. So take all the blame now? Kiki, 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 Kiki gonna everybody. get all the blame. Well, you know they say we, we, you know, I'm cool. I'm play cool with everybody. I'm like, man, I, I, man, I don't play know. Black sheep, so, so, you, so you okay with him taking the blame? <laughs> yeah, yeah so okay. Cool. I'm so okay with it. <laughs> From the promoters, <laughs> with the fans, they own me. Hey. And I be saying, man, I don't. I'm the main one who don't want the problem. I don't want no problem. But you seem like to be cool with all that pressure and any disrespectful or negative thing that somebody may say, it's like water off your back, Kiki. It I, seems to me. I, 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 you know, I'm, I'm, my biggest asset in the game is um, being able to deal with criticism. You know what I'm saying? Like that's one of my major assets. So it do roll off my back because it don't, it don't, um, it don't affect my mindset or nothing that I got to do. You know, it's always room for improvement. I've been making the big decision. From the beginning, from from going to jam dine to the Swisher House to leaving, whatever, I've always had to make that decision. I'm just a person that's prepared to live with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm prepared to live yeah. with my decision, and you know, I just you know, I'm cool with my talent. I a little bit I, of pressure come with that, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I got enough talent to you know. Well, I've, I've thought I've had enough talent throughout the years to just overcome, you know, some of the the, the pressure situations that I had to make. But yeah, like you say, Hawk used to take all the pressure. 
Now they put it all on me. I'm not tripping about it. It's just some of I hate the pre now I can take the pressure from the fans and outside and the promoters. I get that. I'm gonna, you know, they gonna do me. I don't like it within us though. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I get good. pressure with it. Us too, you know what I'm saying? Like for the the ones that's thinking they're the, right. All the ones that's thinking they get left out, they think I'm leaving them out. Right. That's but what they think. I ain't leaving you out. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the last you know what I'm saying, man, that captain and role, I just took that role for saying, man, I just, hey, man, I caught the Buster Screw Hines at 15 years old, 16. I was over there, 17, this I, this 20 some years ago. So me stepping up saying I'm the captain, you know what I'm saying? That just was me taking a, a lead role for the people. But it wasn't a role to say that I'm going to name the lieutenants and all the <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Well, just somebody, I okay, well, somebody got to do that. Huh? Yeah, we're gonna do it. We, we, we nah, nah, no, no, we, we, no, we, we, no, we, no, 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 we, no, 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 tried to make him, you know, I tried, we, we had a conversation, we were trying, but we just gonna leave that alone, because nah. at the end of the day, no matter who you're around or who you with. You know what, I'm gonna yo, interrupt, do yeah. you know some of these people that's not on the show, it's behind respect, too. See, that sounds funny, right? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you why. Because of, just keeping it real, some of the money, and it's an issue, so some of the money we don't be want to, if this was about opening the doors and everybody just coming in here, you want to come? Everybody be there. Everybody can come. This Some of this be about the respect mm -hmm. issue for the money thing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, we got respect for you based on what you making and what you doing, and, you know, and we ain't saying, you know. And then at the end of the day, this was the year that I was going to do it. I was going to put it on my back. I was going to do it. I called all of them. It took me about three days to get out of that. <laughs> it took me about three days to figure out that's yep. really what I wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? Because it just... It's just some... Yeah, it's we head, tried. You know I, what I'm saying? We, and we, I just... And be honest, I'm telling everybody, I'm not in control of this. I'm just happy to be a part. Uh, I'm not on the June 27th CD. Me no, either. You know, I'm not either. on it. It wasn't my birthday. I wasn't now. I didn't... That ain't me. I didn't say anything. <laughs> so I'm just... I be want people to know I just be just as happy you that see, they calling to say... We you want know, you to be a part. Yeah, At the end of the day, don't happen. What it's all boiled down to, everybody's career is in your own hands. Yes, so sir. So you cannot, I, can, I, I couldn't, if I had to depend on Kiki to put me on shows, I wouldn't have been able to live the way I live. Well, me, so, man, this, get this, this getting too heavy, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah man. Say, this all ain't got nothing to do with this. I just was taking to talk about the show, man. Don't try to say what I'm saying. No, I'm not saying. You know how I get out, man. This getting too much, man. My last question. Could there ever be a time where you think everybody, all of y'all could come together and just make one, one record? Yeah, we always do that. Or a record. Album. Yeah, but you know, some labels. Okay, some everybody ain't agreed. Labels, okay, no. You know okay, saying? okay, I got the answer. <laughs> Body language gave me the answer. I'm sorry. We're going to do that. I hope. I'm yeah. going to try. You know, I'm with it. I'm done. I'm, I'm, we've been with it. We, we, see, let you me tell you something. I don't like you saying. See, right there, on. what you saying that? See, I just done so. I done so. <laughs> Later on today. <laughs> my fault. I did so. All right, okay. Okay, I'm just focused there. Screw fast. Saturday, June 27th. Doors are open at 8. All your favorites will be in the building. Can I say that? Yes, of yes. course. Yeah, 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 yeah. Little yeah. can I say that? You can say that. E, can I say that? You said it, baby. Can, can, can most I say of your favorites. I don't want you to say love. Like, most of your favorites on your favorites. No, no. <laughs> all your favorites will be Hey, man, look at the flyers. All right, all right. Hey, man, I'll tell you this. It's, I think by Saturday, everything will be all right. Because I'm going to bring, I'm going to make some people come with me that, you know, hey, you yeah. coming with me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to be good. Right. Well, get your tickets. Be at the show. It's going down Saturday, June 27th, Warehouse Live. Get them now. Go online. Get your tickets. We'll see you at Screwfest. Whoa. Oh, really? That's 100. <laughs>